Hello, guys. Welcome back. I'm your friend Inside XO. In the last video, we have talked about how to download, compile, and install the Unreal Game Engine. But as soon as I, you know, created a new project with Unreal Engine, I found that I couldn't do it with with that、uh, engine. Why? Because I found it's just.、Uh, Too slow, you know. The performance is very bad at my computer. I couldn't do game development with it without a smooth performance. So because of that, we had to find another alternative game engine. And here, as you can see, we are in the homepage of Panda 3D Game Engine. Why I choose this? Because simply it supports It supports Python and C++ together. You can use Python to do the game development, or you can use C++ to do the game development. Both are okay. So this is the reason I choose this game framework. At the beginning, as always, no matter what we do, the first thing we have to do is to do a installation. So how can we install Panda 3D? Here's a simple command: pipe3 install Panda 3D. Okay, requirement already satisfied. This package wasn't that big as you thought it would be. It's only about、uh, 50 megabytes. It's quite small compared to、uh, other game engine. After we installed that、uh, game engine. Or binary file. We have to find a way to run our own code.、Uh, let's go to the package directory to say if we can find some samples or some examples. No, we can't. There has no examples. Then we go to the GitHub page of Panda 3D. Here, it has a folder which lands the samples. We can get into it, and we can see a lot of examples available for us. So I'm going to download this folder. Okay, since I can't find an easy way to download to only download that folder, so I'm going to clone the whole project, the whole repository, to my local storage. Here we go. All we have to do now is wait. All right, download. Complicated. Uh, download com completed. Let's go to the samples. Here we can see a lot of different stuff. Uh, let's go to the fireflies. Fireflies. Here we can see a Python script with a models folder. Inside of that、uh, models, we can see a lot of source file. I mean, st static files, for example, images. Now let's go to the Python file. Okay, it it is just the code. Okay, now I have to run this file, and we can see a window just、uh, popped up, uh, with a lot of、uh, fireflies. Ah,、uh, we can use the up key to increase the number of、uh, Fireflies, and with the、uh, with the number increased, we can see um we can generally see the background for for that game from that game. And as I think, uh, this stuff definitely has performance issues because it's not smooth. Um, it depends. If you use Python, uh, if you use the Panda 3D, uh, for movie producing. Then you won't care about the performance because you always you will always wonder it before you give that、uh, code to your users, or generally you will never give your code to your end users. Instead, you will give them videos. So the performance for this it's not a big problem. Okay, let's close it and、uh, try to run something else. Okay, let's go to the saddle system. 
From here, we can see again a lot of Python scripts. We run the final one, step six. Okay, from here, uh, we can see a lot of things. This the uh this view is quite uh, it's quite simple. I have no interest in that. Then let's go to bore in mass. Again, it's another Python script. Okay, it is something like this. We can use the mouse to control the to control the mass, m a z e. Then the bar will will move according to our mouse movement. Um, I think it's okay. This game has no performance issues. So to be honest, the the whole stuff, I mean the performance stuff, it is depend on your self. On yourself, okay. You can write bad code, or you can write good code. It all depends on you, not the game engine. All right, that's all. Uh, this is what I wanna show you: what the Panda 3D is and uh, how it looks like.